And joining us now is Jean Caceres, who is covering the Jackson trial as a correspondent for True TV's In Session. Jean, good morning. Good morning. Everybody seems to think the prosecution did a pretty good job here. You agree with that? Did they approve their case? Prosecution did a great job. I mean, they have so much to work with. They were going toward the, this extreme deviation of the standard of care. And when you look at that bedroom and you look at what was done and what was not done in administering propofol for insomnia, they have a great case. But the issue, the challenge, and this is where the fight's going to be, it's cause of death. Who caused Michael Jackson's death? Because if the jury believes there's reasonable doubt that Michael swallowed lorazepam pills or that he put some propofol in him right before he died, then they cannot convict Conrad Murray. Gene, what, what, what does the defense team need to do or what, or what should they do, do you think? They've really got to focus in on Michael Jackson. And I don't think they have to just absolutely make a mockery of his life, but they have to show the person he was, that he was so uptight, he was paranoid, he wasn't making rehearsals, he wasn't well, he was absolutely scared to death to go on the road for this big concert tour. Because of that, he needed to sleep, and he would do anything to sleep. You know, a lot of the jurors have family members that have been addicted to alcohol and drugs. They've got to show that addict mentality so a jeweler can say, you know, an addict is going to do whatever they have to do. They're going to sneak behind anybody's back to get that what they want. And for Michael Jackson, it was to take pills or inject propofol so he could rest. Gene, the big question is, does Dr. Conrad Murray testify? Oh, you, you know, you never know until it happens. I don't think it will happen because there's things the defense does not want to come before this jury. Number one, we've seen all these women take the stand that were girlfriends of Conrad Murray's. And it was all relevant because he was on the phone with them during the morning hours when Michael Jackson was trying to sleep. But he was married. He's still married. And that'll come out if he takes the stand. Also, after he gave that one statement to police, police tried to contact him four times for additional information. Now, three out of the four went to his attorneys. They may have stopped him from talking, but they don't want that to come out. On the other hand, Ed Chernoff, lead attorney, told me before the trial, we don't take plea deals because guilty people and take plea deals and we are innocent. So with that theory, maybe innocent people take the stand. Gene Cazares, thank you very much for your time. Always good to see you. We'll, uh, we'll see you again very soon.